Respiration is the release of energy from glucose in cells. Respiration takes place in the mitochondria and you can see we've got an animal cell and a plant cell here because respiration takes place in both animals and plants. The equation for respiration is glucose plus oxygen which react together so they're called the reactants will make carbon dioxide plus water and carbon dioxide and water are produced so they are called the products. Sometimes with this equation you will also see in brackets plus energy because like we said in the definition respiration is the release of this energy from glucose in cells but because it's not a molecule we don't write it in the normal equation. If you do include it, make sure you include it in brackets. As a symbol equation, you'll see it as C6H12O6, which is our glucose, reacting with O2, our oxygen, producing CO2, carbon dioxide, and H2O, water. And these sixes are just to balance our equation. Now you may have noticed that it's the opposite of the photosynthesis equation. In plants there is a process called photosynthesis whereby plants make their own food, they make glucose. In the equation for photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide and water and they make glucose and oxygen. So plants can take the glucose and the oxygen that they've made and straight away use it for their respiration because it's the opposite equation glucose and oxygen making carbon dioxide and water. Importantly plants making this glucose and oxygen in photosynthesis also means that other animals including humans can use these products for respiration. So plants are at the bottom of the food chain so as animals are consuming plants they are consuming the glucose and taking in glucose. And we also get our oxygen from plants. The holes in the bottom of the leaves called stomata allow oxygen to diffuse into the air. So the plants will be releasing oxygen into the air and we can then breathe that in so we can do our own respiration in our cells with the glucose that we're consuming reacting with the oxygen that we're taking in from the air to make carbon dioxide and water and of course the whole point of respiration is to release some energy. In humans we get the glucose that we need for respiration by eating food and the main foods that we need for this glucose are sugars and carbohydrates. We get the oxygen we need for respiration by breathing in. Importantly, respiration is not the same as breathing in. Respiration is the release of energy from glucose in our cells. But breathing is important for respiration because we need to get the oxygen into our bodies. And we do that by breathing in the oxygen into our lungs. And that goes down the trachea and then the bronchi and eventually it ends up in tiny air sacs at the ends. These air sacs are called alveoli. And oxygen diffuses from our lungs into our bloodstream as we breathe in. So if we were to look at one alveoli in particular, you can see that they're all covered by these blood vessels. So zooming in on one, it's got blood vessels really close to it and the oxygen that we've that we've breathed in will then diffuse from the alveoli into our bloodstream and we can carry that around our body to all of the cells in our body where we can then do aerobic respiration. Oxygen and glucose are then transported to every cell in the body by the blood. The oxygen is transported by the red blood cells so the oxygen binds to these red blood cells. The glucose is transported in the blood plasma. So glucose doesn't bind to the red blood cells, 
Instead, it's transported in the liquid, which is called blood plasma. And then when that blood arrives, for example, at a muscle, so we've got some muscle tissue below here, oxygen and glucose will diffuse from the blood into the surrounding cells. So we've got our oxygen from our red blood cells, which will diffuse into the muscle cells, like so. And you've got the glucose, which would just be in the blood plasma around. The chemical formula for glucose, I'll write, is C6H12O6. So those molecules will be travelling around in the blood plasma and they will diffuse into the muscle cells as well. I've directed them here to this mitochondria because if we remember, respiration takes place in the mitochondria. And here, that oxygen and glucose will react together to make carbon dioxide and water, and energy will be released. Waste products, carbon dioxide and water, then diffuse out of the cells back into the blood and are taken away in the blood plasma. So going back into the blood, you would have carbon dioxide and water, which will then be taken away in the blood plasma. So just to recap, aerobic respiration. This is the equation for aerobic respiration. And as I said, sometimes you will see plus energy written in brackets. Respiration is the release of energy from glucose in cells. It takes place in the mitochondria of animal and plant cells. And importantly, aerobic respiration needs oxygen. So you can see here, for aerobic respiration, we must have oxygen reacting with the glucose. This is important because in another video, I'll introduce another type of respiration called anaerobic respiration, which does not involve oxygen. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.